Hey guys, what is up? My name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with my May book haul. First and foremost, we will go over my book of the month club book choices. I chose all three this past month. Here they are. We've got the sophomore novel by Helen Huang, and that is The Bride Test, which is another romantic contemporary story that takes place with two of the characters that we know from The Kiss Quotient, but other characters. Um, and it, is, it has like autism rep, and um, that's about it. I wasn't really a huge fan of The Kiss Quotient, but I wanted to give her one more shot because I didn't hate The Kiss Quotient. I think I gave it like a three star. We'll see if this is not as good or better, then that'll probably be it for me and her. Yeah. I also picked up With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I absolutely loved The Poet X. This is a story about a girl who has a teen pregnancy and it has to do with her love and her culture's love of food. That's about all I know. I kind of want to go into it blind. This will be a buddy read later this month, so look out for that. And lastly, a book I've been meaning to pick up, but finally just threw in my box, is <laughs> An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. It's like a sci-fi contemporary LGBTQ representative book that I know very little about, but this is on my June TBR, so we'll see how I feel about it then. Next, my one and only pre-order of the month in which I got three copies, two have come in, one I might do a giveaway for, so keep an ear out for that. But that is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, about a squad of sci-fi people doing science fiction-y space stuff. I've already read it. You'll hear about it. Okay. Next, I found a used copy that was quite affordable and something that I just needed for my shelves because this is one of my favorite series, and that is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I have the paperback copy of this, but everything else is hardback, and it drove me crazy to look at my shelf and see that differentiation because I love this series and new book people feel me. But my copy of the paperback version is signed and personalized, so it's also sentimental to me. But I got this for like $5, so. Also, May was Mother's Day, and so for Mother's Day, my husband bought three, technically six books, six books? Five books. I can't math. Five books for me. One was a trilogy, and then two solos. So let's go over the solos first. I was gifted Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nunn. This is a story of paper girls who are basically king's concubines. This is about a rebellion, sort of. <laughs> I don't know how to say. It was a five star read for me. I wanted to own it. The next book is coming out in the fall and the covers are just beautiful. Cannot wait for the next one. That's one. Two, another Murakami and that is Colorist Sekuro. I can never say this. Colorist Sekuro? Colorist Sekuro Tazaki by Haruki Murakami. I've read this before but this is one of my favorite Murakamis and I'm gonna reread it this summer for sure. Yes, I want to make sure that I still believe that it's my favorite because I've read a lot since then. This is one of my first ones. Cool. And last but not least, I'm not sure if they're all in frame, but I just grabbed the first one. I always said I'd never read this author, but then I decided I wanted to try this trilogy out because I've heard that this one's better than the others, and that is the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare. So this is a Clockwork Angel. You got Clockwork Princess and the Clockwork, I don't know, Prince. That would make sense. In any case, I guess we'll see what happens when I get to them. I also placed a book outlet order and it was mainly because the entirety of the Throne of Glass series, including the Assassin's Blade, was on sale all in hardcover for an insanely great price and I have enjoyed the series that I've read so far, which is like the first three and a half books, so I will get to them eventually. This is like a prequel, so this doesn't count in the three and a half books, but yeah, the whole series so I can finally just read them. Still think I'm going to be a Court of Thorns and Roses trash as compared to Thorn of, or Throne of Glass, but... And then because I got a book outlet order, I also threw on a few Christopher Moore novels because Christopher Moore is one of my favorite writers and they were like $2 a piece. So I got A Dirty Job, Practical Demon Keeping, and The Lust Lizard of Melancholy Cove. He's hilarious. He's funny. I recommend starting with A Dirty Job. It's the first one I ever 
read and loved, and that's how I fell in love with him. Check him out. Also on Amazon, they had like a real great deal on this book, and it's a series I've been meaning to check out, so finally I was just like, all right, let's do it. And that is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. It was actually because Amanda over at The Naughty Librarian talks about this series a lot, but also she met Susan Dennard at like ALA or it's one of the festivals that just happened, and I really liked the conversation they had, and so when I saw that it was like incredibly cheap to get the first book, I caved. What can I say? I know nothing about it. Something about Witchlands, Magic, Two Desperate Women. I just read that off the back. Real good at my job. I gotta, gotta wrap this up before my kid gets home from school. And lastly, for the first time in a long time, I got the Owl Crate subscription box. I guessed what was going to be in it, and all of the you know, plus items, bookish items, were from fandoms that I consider myself a part of, so I was like, you know what, let's do it this time, and that is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. It's basically about a woman who disguises herself as a man to hunt, because women aren't allowed to. And um, I've heard nothing but good things so far, and I'm really excited to get to it. It won't be this month, but I think it's a beautiful cover. I do like the gold better, that's like the regular production copy, but in any case, that's it. That was a lot of books. I know. This month, my June goal is to get my Book of the Month books. I think I'm getting this month's Owl Crate as well. And then after that, mm, I think Deviate by Jay Kristoff comes out. And I'd like to keep it to that and maybe one other book. So I'm trying my best <laughs> this month. That is my book haul of the month. It's a lot of stuff. I'm never going to have time to read all this stuff, which is why I've got to pull back this month. In any case, that's it for me, guys. Like if you like this video, subscribe if you're new here and want to see more book hauls and other content from me. I have all my social media links down below. Goodreads, Instagram, Twitter, let's be friends elsewhere. Let me know if there are any of these books that I just haul that I need to prioritize. I don't know. I think that's it. That's all I got. Happy June, guys.